All right, Disco Elysium, part like four or so, if I'm not mistaken, but, but, what it also is, is the start of day two. <laughs> I've been rather slow at it. Adam was saying that it, I'm, the bed it's is cold a slow day. Not particularly inviting. Or it's slow at the start. It's yours. The sheets look awful. Which I have definitely felt. I'm excited to see what ends up happening here. I wonder if it will uh, refresh my morale and my health. Probably health. Maybe not morale. I don't know. Maybe I wake up in worse, <laughs> worse shape. Who could say? Um, but yeah, so day one, uh, I got my ass beat by a dude a couple times. I discovered some mystery and intrigue. I broke into a place and started talking to a dice lady who was very nice and, and very cool. Uh, the old lady gave me some money, which was nice. Uh, and I pawned like everything I owned so I could let Kim keep his hubcaps that he stole. <laughs> or that he pawned. Or no, uh, confiscated. That's what it was. All right, let's crawl in. Day one officially the sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against Done. your skin the bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes and then sleep doesn't come shit and then sleep doesn't come oh no why maybe it's the bed's fault <sighs> Check the... Uh, check the pillow. Its synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. Mm. The pillowcase smells oddly. Mm. Roll over to the other side. It's a little better. <laughs> Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? Who killed him? Who? Something to do with... What was it that the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. No more thoughts. Fall asleep. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images, images start forming. Are these going to be... Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Whoa. Do you remember the scent of your childhood? What is this? What it says on the can, Harry. Answer the question. I remember nothing. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Who? Who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs between her legs and in her mouth? <laughs> the way to word that was rather gross. Tell me what this is. I'm not answering. I was left. That's right, funky baby. And you just stood there, one hand on the bottle and the other on your dick, watching her go. Let it all be dragged away from you. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Ignore that fucking bike where out there. Where the hell are yours? I can get it all back. I don't want to come back. Fuck. I like that I have my uh, I have my little visor on. You think it has the little high, the little like googly eyes that it's supposed to have? I don't want to come back. I can get it all back. I don't think I want to go back. They were only cramping your descent into the abyss. Now they're gone. Three times gone and never coming back. All of it. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pile and the Isolus. On the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning furious truth. Eight thousand years. 
of written history. What the fuck? You really dropped the bow, Harry. 4.6 billion people. And you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. I've seen you before. No, you haven't. You're just sleep talking. And the act is wearing thin, too. The spots on the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snakeskins in no time, sweating up the bed. Stinky boy. What the hell? <laughs> I can come back from this. You're not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that high conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. Who are you kidding? I'm trying to solve, trying to solve this case. My mind is tired and broken and help me. Fuck. I'm trying to solve it, yeah. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. There's another? Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. What the fuck? That was wild. It does, in fact, heal your uh, your stats. So that's that's nice. Fuck. That wasn't any better. <laughs> that was terrible. A new day has begun. Good going, buddy. Yeah, what the hell was that indeed? Oh, just a dream. You have ones like that all the time. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. What's going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Uh, that's not it, really? I feel super good. Why is this happening? It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. You're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. I need to get more of it then. Detecting is my life. I can take this. I'm not going to go looking for speed. What is speed? I, I wonder. Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. It kept you propped up all day yesterday, despite your debilitating hangover. Oh, shit. How else did you think you even got up from this floor? Oh, shit. It's power, man. It's professionalism. It makes you feel like you're young again and ready to detect. Ready to go to war against the world. I don't think I need it. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Let's be honest, two weeks. Maybe three. You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You will be fired. Shit. If I don't do speed, am I just going to, like, keel over? And, and lose, like, half a day or something? How's that gonna work? Oh, fuck. I wonder if it just, like, becomes too much and I just start dying. Shit. I can do this without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. Opt out. Who am I kidding? Of course I want some speed. Fuck the town. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your spark. Wait. 
Okay, no, thank God. I thought it was gonna mean that I like I moved a lot slower. <laughs> thank Thankfully it seems to not be the case. The door is still you should punch off the murmur in your Still not waking up, huh? Okay, I can do nothing about that. Let's head down here. So on this day. Oh wow. Things are a tad different now. Interesting, interesting. Okay, good morning to you, Kim. Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union mess have turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Shit, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> These men Gart told us about yesterday. I completely forgot. Uh, sorry. I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty. One loose thread less to worry about. And one big problem to replace it. Okay, well that's good. I, I that lucked out. I lucked way the fuck out. That's great. <laughs> uh, threaten people. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maxed it. That's a good call. That's a good call. I'm going to be so fucking strong. Well, I'm going to threaten people and scare them. I won't be strong. Uh, why do we need to talk Everything to them? points to the dock workers union. The tracks in the mud. The circumstances in Martinez. Which may, of course, all be wrong. But we still need to talk to them. And it won't be easy. Okay, let's go. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them. Continue with our business. Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else for but aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? Fuck. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Okay. Okay. Interesting. What does Wheels got to say about it? Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Um, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Tell me how I might make that up to you now. Uh, everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead, too. What's wrong with the phone line? Uh, why do you need to use the phone? To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. But they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Mm. Has he gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of reeds. Something sweet in it, somnolent. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. But you have more important things to worry about. What expedition was he on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lot. Oh, but they can't go there. Traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. The water lock that was broken. Yeah. Could this be it? Yeah. Uh, do you trust that Gary oh, guy? Sweetie, it's Gary's like as that. well as they come. Okay. Well, the water I'm lock on the other side is broken. I'm gonna bet they probably day. are stuck. Oh my! What happened to the water lock? I don't really know. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. No problem. Yo, Could I have more money by chance? I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast. Please do keep an eye out for my husband. 
This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yeah, I bet. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. <laughs> I love how fucking like condescending and shitty. Like, yeah, that's a good thing to focus on. Sure. Yeah, you go look for the bug guy. <laughs> Forget about the fucking corpse, whatever. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. I'll let you know. It's cold out there. I'll let him know you're here when or if I get there. Oh, you're such a dear. No problem. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, some kind of scientist? Oh, yes. It's yeah, I don't want to hear about the bullshit. Point. It's not a hobby. Searching for such species right. called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. Oh, and frankly, boy. many scientists are too lazy to do it. One less University worried about husbands. are rarely interested in supporting real research. Maybe if I distract her, I'll increase my odds here. Tell me more about that rare insect your husband oh, was looking sweetie, for. It's fascinating. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. No, 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 I want to hear about it. Well, it's a uh, phasmid, technically, but... Oh, yeah. Here comes the interesting... This is major. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insulindian coast, hence its name, the Insulindian phasmid. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciated the creature's name. I knew it. We're going to be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. It's not made up, officer. I can assure you. <laughs> Poor Kim. It's simply Poor guy. elusive. So much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. What makes you think it's here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They, they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper. Got that course, somewhere? Most phasmid sightings turn out to be mm. false alarms, but their description matched the insulin Indian phasmid perfectly. Is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No mm. one gets into dangerous. <laughs> Not at all. Why else mm. would it hide itself so carefully? Does it got cool powers? Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly. Yeah, what's the so reeds. special about this stick bug? Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. Morel can explain it all much better. All right, tell me about Morel look or how he looks. Then you'd understand. Uh, sure. Tell me about his character. Tell me oh, about dear. your relationship. I'm not sure where to begin. How long you married? We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. <laughs> Old. Uh, what does your husband look like? Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but if I were to meet him on the street, bright. what would I look for? Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame, and he has longish white hair. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. That's big. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him. How'd you meet? By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident, and he just divorced. Accident? What are you talking about? <laughs> we hit it off, and... What do you well, mean? Well, here we are. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. Mm, all right, I got all the info I need. I hope I've been useful. All right, let me try this. You're an enthusiastic idiot, but you're still... An idiot. Shit. I want to know everything about cryptids, living cryptids, extinct cryptids, marine cryptids, land cryptids. Bring it on. We don't have time for cryptozoology 101. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll get hunting around elsewhere. Okay, what, uh, what does this guy have to say? Can I help you? About my bill. 20 real. I don't got Why it. Why are you wasting my. A guy's such a jerk. Why is he like not want to have any conversation? What an asshole. The man ponders his cooking utensils. Uh, now then, what's this about? Tomatoes are so thinly sliced you can see through them. Cheap fucks. I love that they let me go back there. Let me handle this. Detective disorientated. Are you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. I thought you were in why you're such a jerk now. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman 
is cold as ice. You're not a gardener at all. That's right. I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. What the hell? So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy. You think he has information that will help you. Maybe he does. She points to the man on her right. That's Titus. Talk to him. But know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming. Nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. Unbelievable. I, I'm never giving her her gloves back ever. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. You fucking bitch. You bitch. Whatever I want to talk to you. What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. God In Martinez, God damn it. you are no one. God damn it. Why are you so aggressive? You're aggressive. You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. I didn't do anything. Mm. So you were spying on us. And now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob. Enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishal. 20 fat men in the Occident are stealing it all. And you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. The tall, broad-shouldered man takes a sip of his beer. So ask what you came to ask, or get back to your commanders. The world needs a financial buffer zone. No need to get emotional. The privatization is not unlawful. It's cool and funny. Maybe you're just not historic individuals. What? I don't know where you heard that, but it's wrong. The RCM is principled and strong, like you socialists. I like that. Good start. Let's take it a step further. Armed uprising. What are the union's plans? Yeah, let's do that. Let's ask those questions. Look, a comedian. Do your job. Ask your questions. Then get out of Martinez. Fucking jerk. Strange. It's as if people don't believe a cop could be a socialist revolutionary. <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> what are you going to do to me? Hmm. Uh, Lieutenant is not satisfied with the approach. What? What are we going to do to you? <laughs> God damn it. I thought she was nice, dude. I'm so sad. How are you doing, Alan? The union isn't going to do anything to you. It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. I don't know. There's a dead fucking body. Mm -hmm. God damn right it is. If anything... It is the RCM who do things to people. But What's your role? Digress. Like I already told you, I'm a legal counselor. All right, well then fuck you. You're a jerk. I hate you. I can't believe you. I'm never giving her her gloves back ever, ever, ever. Yeah, I know it's about money. Everything's about money. <laughs> All right, so what am I out for, uh, for fucking, uh, out for for the day, huh? Maybe I can go knock the fella out. Now that she was such a jerk, I kind of want to go smoke that cunt <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, you have anything new to say today? I'd further inquiries. Maybe. The man oozes stock skepticism. Uh... What's it to you? Big mess caused by union greed. We're all workers, right? These are all the Work same. Territorial. We're done. He's stopping this to go. Fuck. Yeah, I can't advance that any further. Got it. Anything new to talk to this one about? The lone wolf. <laughs> She's posting random links. <laughs> Interesting. To the left of some. I think I already checked all that out. Uh, I don't think I have any new ones, but let me just check. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals 10 cents. Okay, well, that didn't help me in any way. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I am going to ignore that guy. I'm going to go talk to. Uh, the, uh, oh, shit, it's, like, snowing now, I think. That's nice. I like that. Um, hello, you're new. What do you got to do here, huh? It's a good one. Yes? Or is it a good one, question mark? Uh, who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working what are you doing looking for something to read <laughs> phenomenal it is <laughs> i'm a policeman i know you are everyone can see that the rectangles 
Do you need the help of a policeman? What with? Uh, maybe your husband's missing. My husband? No, he's not. Where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Where is this going, officer? <coughs> I'm hearing is you don't know where your husband is, huh? Yes, but... Wouldn't... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to? No. All right. I guess you don't care if your husband's missing. Why are we still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Unless that is to say, it's a new uh, song that I'm able to use for stuff, which would be kind of beneficial. But I'm sure he would just like let me know. So no. A little busy anyway. Uh, maybe your children are missing. No, absolutely not. Where are they? A policeman or a nanny? Nanny, where are they? They're not missing, sir. You know where they are. They're at home, smoking, giving the ladder of vices a chance. They're at home, right? Smoking cigs. What? That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. <laughs> They're almost grown up now, anyway. So they can what smoke, is huh? This doubt you have them? Something mm. has happened here. The danger is now greater than ever. <laughs> Tell me how old they are. Maybe you're right. Maybe they aren't missing after all. No, no, no. My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Uh, I'm gone. Need to know this? Did someone say party? You could use a party. <laughs> Some stupid down. party. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna go to some party with teenagers. Is that the idea? I could get with a party, or I could do with a party, a killer party, not a lame one. A killer party? What is it with you and Pope Staples? My God, please, no more talk about my daughters. They is your bird missing? To disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. What the fuck does that For mean? For what it's worth, I agree. <laughs> cockatoos can't be stopped when they get ideas. It's better to indulge him at this point. I was asking you about your cockatoo. Is it missing? I don't even have a cockatoo. What? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. Great. <laughs> Why can I do this? Uh, what do you mean by I have a cockatoo, huh? Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Or your heroic I can, bird? I can get a task to look for a book about cockatoos. <laughs> I might. I'm thinking of the tips. Wonderful. The story's open. Watch her browse books. Move over the book covers. Right, that's all I want. Why could I? Why was it able to the fucking? Why was I able to get that much information about that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's great. Do you have anything new to say, little Hello, idiot? Sir. How is the investigation going? Good. Any curses yet? Yeah, I broke in there. Oh, that's great. I hope exciting adventures lie ahead, and maybe you can help Mother become. Less afraid. Uh, no, she's a fucking basket case. What's going on with that bitch? Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nice if a bit distressed. Why distressed? I think she is a bad husband. Not very nice or helpful. I gotta go right back over there. <laughs> She's like, oh, I can make him go missing if you want. Ah. Uh... Oh, that's un <laughs> no, no. I think she is a. Okay. All right. Well, that didn't teach me anything. I think that's a new fella. I think. I'm not so sure. There. Working class drunk. You know what this means, right? Case solved. Cracked it. All in a good day's work. How'd I crack what it though? What do you mean? What did I crack? It's her husband, the missing husband. It's the future is. leader of the proletarian uprising. Uh, some third option? No. Stop goofing around. Missing oh, hubby? Yes. And you found him. Now go and tell the working class woman. Protect and serve, recruit. It doesn't add up. I'm only making a fool of myself. Do marriages make any sense? Does honor? You're not a filthy philosopher. You know, that's a good You're point. No need. <laughs> that's a great point. I'm going right back to her. I found your husband. He's five feet away from you. Drunk as fuck. <laughs> I found your husband. Damn it, I already told you. My husband isn't missing. But you said you didn't know where he I was. specifically added that I didn't need to know well, where he was. I found him. Very well then. Where is he? It's right there. Excuse me? I, I don't follow. 
I found a working class drunk and I thought he might be yours. Right, because working class women come with alcoholic husbands. You know what? Uh, what? You were right. I do have an alcoholic husband. Although not that one. But you told me he's all right. I did, and he is. He's also an alcoholic. So is he missing? No, he's not. Or maybe he is. I don't know. He's probably in the park. Or in <laughs> this is so stupid. I haven't seen him for... Well, to hell with him. Kim, I think we have a missing persons case. I wouldn't be so sure. Ma'am, just to be completely clear, do you want to report it to the police? <laughs> Why would he assume? Report what? He's just out drinking with his friends. I'm sure the police has better things to do than to chase down local goofballs. I think it's, I just, just think missing persons cases are mysterious. <laughs> no, we gotta get that goofball. She sighs, but you can detect a slight hint of gratitude. Dude, she's hype. All right, go ahead. All right, what does it look Honestly, like? Honestly, not that different from you. Oh. Uh, we're dealing with a cop. No, no. He is definitely not a cop. What up? What else? He was wearing <laughs> a dark chubby, brown leather admit. jacket with a bright blue inner lining. It's his cool jacket. Okay. He knows it's too cold to run around in this, but he refuses to change. I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? Uh, if, that, if that jacket is really that cool, then I'd understand. Well, what can you do? When did you last see him? Yesterday morning, he went to the library. He went to retrieve my book, and he promised, he promised, he'd walk straight back home. How did I actually get into a fucking missing, missing persons case? How did I, gen how did I find this? Because we talked about this. We talked about not wandering off again. I, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do with How did this attack. happen? Gone for around 36 hours then. Damn. This Holy is shit. A missing persons case. I'm a fucking detective masterclass. She turns away from you in an attempt to recover. I think I got it. Thank you. So you are going to look for him. I will bring him home. I'll do my best. Thank you. Please do. I'm sure he will too. When he does, would you let Prison 57, Kim Kitsuragi, know? I will. Of course, officer. As right. I said, it's probably not right. Talk about your hubby. No, I got it. Okay, cool. I can't fucking believe that stutter. I cannot fucking believe that that was. Oh, oh, that's the lady. Oh, man. How'd she get up there? I just want to check if he had a blue jacket on. Which doesn't seem like he does, so I guess we are kind of okay. An inconspicuous pile of fuck. Okay. Man, I want up there. Damn it. Okay. So I gotta get up there. I have to chat her up. I have to see what's going on. Kuno's a cunt. I hate that little dickhead. Oh. Try to ignore the little bitch as much as I can. Um, keep an eye out for a fella in a blue jacket who's drunk. Uh, and I fear possibly, like, on the fucking... Just, like, I, I thought he might be hanging for a sec, I'll be honest. I don't know where the fuck he might be at, but I gotta... I gotta get looking. Certainly do. Ooh, new people. Okay. Uh, hey, you're over here. I happen to meet your, uh, your, your, your stooge. Your fucking, Good your back. scat. Good. What can I help you with? I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality, yeah, we got here. This reality? It's related to that medical episode. Ah, yes. The episode. Don't be faith, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a lowdown on all of reality. We may be here a while, then. <laughs> Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. <laughs> all right, we're in. I know these all look good. We're, we're the first in. Day. All right, where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. Baby. A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. I have a disco holder. It's a disco hold over my pain. own. <laughs> Aren't we all? Well, what is Martinez? Martinez is a district of Why can I learn all this? A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor. Yeah, I got what I need. Excuse for not knowing about it. Uh... They say. You mentioned the a botany, sea. What sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. Are we near the yes. ocean? 
We are on an island in an ocean. Vast, hmm. lukewarm, and unknowable. Tell me about Martinet. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before, as a teenager. Not a lot has changed. This place used to be a province, hmm. a workers' resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. Hmm. What's the name Are of this place? You, as you already know. You don't know that. Imagine a pebble, <laughs> I forgot that. A smoothed over pebble. She's really just describing. This pebble is of enormous value to her and to humanity at large. <laughs> Tell me about another, uh, perhaps even more fundamentally, uh, fundamental aspect. No, let me hear more about this Revishal thing. The great As if it's self Okay, this is, I don't want to, who built the city? The nations of the Occident. When? In the Delorean century. Why is it resolved, or why will it resolve ago, history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. By that I mean, conflicts. Mm. We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient. Why can I get this much info to from her? Sustain up to two hundred million people. In so we're on the periphery, the basically nobody's. Speak for yourself, officer. I'm well known in certain parts. You're a jerk. As to the place, you're right. We are twenty-two kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. Why is this? Is, there is no recognition. We I'm are. not. This is stupid. This is stupid. This this is stupid. I don't care. Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. Uh, I'll continue it's later. not to eat all your candy at once. That's Indeed. good. Yeah, that's great. I'm always Why do I even service. have this option? What is the point of all this? What is this? Spread your hands. A bird? Uh, keep, keep. Of course you're not, my dear. <laughs> Am I really that awkward? I'm just terrible at guessing games. Uh, I meant with well, this place ah, here. Okay. I don't want to hear about this. this Why can I get XP from this? Splat, splat. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wonderful. She knows about all that, huh? Yeah. What is that? Point to Cindy the Skull. The girl in the old lady rags. Yeah. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Infraculture? Yes. You and I belong to the supraculture. We're common. The herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant. Those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Uh, she prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. <laughs> Explain it to someone who, uh, as if you were talking to a child, though. Young people who dye their hair funny colors and wear old people's clothes are stupid, and their little rebellion is self-defeating. Fair enough. All right, what next? Fair enough. Thank you. That was very nice. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, there's no way I fucking... What are you? What, what I am not is a basic term of reality. Okay, what times these are these? Are Too late for... Okay, yeah, this is not important. Rhythm. It's quite easy. Those would be... Oh, but I do want to see if ever. I can... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, kerfuffle. The, I like the oh, kerfuffle. Even the real king Don't get to see that too often. It's a cowardly one. Him and tens of thousands uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, on the other the hand, there's so much. The liberals okay. got the okay, this some is... were it. They didn't win. We. Oh my god, this to is absurd. Foreign intervention. Who are the, the coalition? Coalition. Holy the shit. Holy shit. Get me, is, is Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. That's enough about that. Anyway. All right. Sentimentality. Is there anything else? 6 kilometers southwest in the Valley of Dogs. Junior officer oh! takes aim at a rabid black dog licking its wounds in the grass. To his left, his partner, Emil Mullins, whispers, You heard what happened to Tequila Sunset in Martinez? Yes, he lost his mind. Tilbrook answers. I have no idea. on the trigger. Don't worry, Emil. He pulls it out slowly. Slowly now. He'll find it again. We always do. What am I? You? You're an officer of the RCM. The Revishal Citizens Militia. Preciso Mundo. What is that? Nothing more nor less than the de facto law enforcement body of post-revolutionary Revishal. 
detective. Yes, we are the Remachol citizens militia. You say, uh, you said de facto? Yes. What do you mean? The RCM's responsibilities are defined by the emergency I don't need to know all that, remember. All three are good to know when we are out policing. Uh, so I'm a lackey of a ca or of capital. So I'm basically a thrall of foreign interests. I'm basically one of the good guys. So I'm basically going to avoid the subject and that's the next. I'm a thrall. There's nothing basic about your role, detective. It's true that the RCM keeps everything the way our seemingly permanent provisional rulers like it. Yet, on the other hand, I know these people. I deal with them daily. Let me tell you, dear. They are not fans of you. Why's that? The post-revolutionary decade was a disaster for the coalition government. Revachol in the 20s was hell. Especially on the west side <sighs> of the river. Gang warfare. A botched privatization scheme. A nuclear pile meltdown. They called it the international zone. Because no nation wanted to claim responsibility. The RCM restored peace where the coalition failed. That's somewhat of an exaggeration. In reality, ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement. Ravacholians get to keep the peace in Ravachol, and the coalition doesn't have to worry about it. <laughs> anyway, sorry to intrude. Yes, Lieutenant. Permit me to conclude with this. Who you are, to me, is the police. The only legitimate law enforcement authority in Ravachol. Okay. Well, thank you. And if those authorities drink so hard they need help recalling the basic terms of reality, well... I'm here to help. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Glad to have been of assistance. Why am I able to ask all of that? For what purpose can I ask all of that? Why does it matter that I hear that from her? I don't understand. Can I yell at her from down here? Does it work? Hello again, officers. Have Is you that... come to admire my mural? Is that bed in the call room yours? Ooh. Not only have you found my address... You've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. Not the nicest of places, but I guess it'll have to do. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Nothing does. Mm. Like me. Right now, I'm doing nothing at all. <laughs> Does you have a real home? Does anyone in a city like this? Hmm. Is there a miner then? Yes. I keep hoping a shaft will collapse on me. But somehow... It never happens. I like that. All right, I have another question. Shoot, piggy. I do. Okay, it okay. Well, you're a jerk, and I have no other questions. <laughs> I like. All right, was there anything else to do in here? Probably not. Uh. I don't think I'm going to find anything new in there. Uh, I'm going to do the balcony up there. Do I have anything I can hit up the old bitch for? You got anything? Give me a moment. Who are you? I'm no do you live here? If you can call it living, okay. it's barely bigger than a closet. But I don't complain, no. Sounds like you are. And all she gets, too. The coastal wind beats down hard on the coal room door outside. Splashes of waves make the balcony slippery. Ooh. All right, a few more questions about the apartments. Ask away, policeman. Do you know who lived in the foreclosed building? What the hell am I supposed to know? Okay. She really doesn't like those nut jobs. Bad blood there. Okay, who lives in tent? No one lives there. It's been empty for months. But I talked to someone through the door. Impossible. I would know if someone had moved in there. Maybe it's those countercultural people again. Hmm. Breaking into a house like it's a public space. Oh, I'll see what I can You're do. Great. Young people. There's a They're hole in the wall. You know, always littering the hallways with trinkets and empty Electric room beer tent. cans. Why is there a hole in the wall uh, in the abandoned apartment? Some lunatic lost his mind. All kinds of morons pass through these halls. Mm. Is one of the residents on vacay? People come and go. Mm. I don't keep an eye on everyone. Who is found the padlock door? Oh, that one is a scientist, a future scholar. I think he studies astrology at the community college. Astrology? Something to do with all those stars around his door. Star and antlers and stuff? He to leave his drawings up on the wall. Hmm. I think that's a symbol of communism. Uh, are you sure you don't mean astronomy? That's what I said. Astrology. Okay. The lieutenant shakes his head as though to say, 
let it go. Fair enough. Come on, people. Got it. Try to keep up any we don't... standards here. What can you tell it's me about... It's about stars. It's... Forget it. What can you tell me about Cindy? The artiste. Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Aww. Still, she leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. She oh, I guess. Some kind of a response. Then hacks something into her handkerchief. Well, you're a bitch, but thank you. Okay, where is room 10? What's that about? Absolutely. What's this one? You okay, hear so... someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. Knock again. The poor communard from the... Do I have to open the door? Do you have a warrant? Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. Yeah, we do. This apartment's supposed to be empty. Did you break in here? Excuse me? Scare them. Suspected of some big crime. Then open the door so I can verify your identity. Are you cooking morphine in there? I don't need a warrant if I suspect there's been a break in. Oh, come on. That was smart. No, but. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need those shoes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, I will go and see what's going on with the antler fella in a sec here. Before then, I need to figure out what this is all about. All day? Hell yeah, that's big. Uh, find mattress, yep. And then, uh, a blister pack of medicine peaks out of the box. You should take it. I will absolutely Satisfied? take it. My name is Marielle Charpentier, and I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. Holy shit, her fucking in, face. As I have every right to be here. Dude. Keys, see? Dude. Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit too? Uh, she fumbles through her purse, fishing out a light paper-clad passport. Let me check that passport. It feels flimsy in hand, with the words Revachol Zone of Control written under a nondescript municipal logo. There's nice. a picture of her with shorter hair inside, ah. along with all her personal details. Nice haircut. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any questions? I need to be back in Midtown in an hour. Who lived in the foreclosed apartment down the hall? Oh, that's another huge mess. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. Three. We closed the apartment and planned on auctioning off the valuables, but... And again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came to close the door, didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. So preppy. She's probably on some low-grade performance enhancers, like Preptide or Pericanine. A hole in the wall. Can you believe it? I couldn't. And then the tenant couldn't. ran off with his stuff. Hmm. The sum must have been puny. My money has also disappeared. Uh, I think I could. It couldn't have been that much money. These apartments look shabby. These apartments are perfectly fine. Ooh. I'll tell you, Martinez has a future. In a few years, it's going mm. to blossom with artists and creatives and those radio computer wizards. Mm, what, what happened to the wall? Don't ask me what happened with the wall. I have Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. All right. What are you doing here? I need to get it ready for the next lease, but as you can see, the previous tenant completely trashed the place. Sounds like they knew how to have a good time. A reprehensible who lived here. I fuck shit up too. Who lived here? It was some kind of a moribund old man who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent, but that was months ago. Anyway, hmm. was there anything you wanted or is that it? I need to, it was, so, but that was months ago. I need, ha, huh, sounds like you've spent too much time undercover in some rock band. It was so, Okay, so uh, I can't get anything more course. out of that. Got it. She replies with a smile, but her eyes remain glazed over. She's been waiting for you to leave. I wonder. I have a sneaking suspicion that there's more. There's certainly more to that. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn 
how would this even work? <laughs> God damn it. Okay. There's no fucking way this does anything of this value. This door has been closed with a padlock. What are you doing? Fuck! You're trying to cut the body of the lock with the chain cutters. Damn it! I believe it's the shackle you mean to cut, detective. God damn it! The chain cutters are broken, Kim. Perhaps you should give it another go. Can't point out that shackle. I'll do it now. What are you doing? I believe it's the shackle you mean to cut, detective. Perhaps you should give it another go. How the fuck? I failed it on like 78% that time. Dude, what the hell? How? This door has been closed. That's so fucked. I'm so upset. How? How? That is criminal if that fucking did that. I am so mad. Give me that. And yeah, give me that. Absolutely. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Man. That's such a fucking bummer, dude. I'm so upset. Okay, so is there any... There's probably no way for me to get in here. Nope. And then up here. I think he's in. This door is made of metal. No Knock. One. We should return in the... He wants you to come back at 2100. I forgot about that, I'll be honest. Totally forgot about that. 2100, go back there. Hopefully, I don't fucking miss that. Uh, okay. Man, I need so much money. Fuck, how do I possibly get the money I need? Nothing I can do there, and I can't get up there. Okay. Does fuckface have anything to say this time, or are they just gonna yell? To sneak up on me? No, that's not sneaking up! Oh, come on! Just an ordinary wall. Nothing. To I don't need to hear about the wall. I don't want to conceptualize the wall. I'm just gonna fail again. All I've done is fail every check like that. I don't want to fucking go fail anymore. Okay. So I currently only know about getting back there at 2100. I ain't found a whole lot of anything quite yet. Nothing really is uh, speaking out to me at this stage. Huh. I don't get there, though. I don't get there. There's no way that this is the guy. Vigilance right? officer, what can this old carabineer do for you? So the statue of Philip III near the roundabout. Ah, yes. King Philip III. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant. Oh cocaine no, the cocaine thing back. again. <laughs> I forgot I already talked to him about that. <sighs> okay. So. I don't think there's going to be anything more for the car. I wonder if I can. Uh... Hmm. See, I still can't go that way. He's no longer guarding this. A rusting control. Oh, that's the guy. This panel. Nothing. A spring bring wasn't there a Alright, so this is like days away. I sadly can't help him. A crumpled billboard reading Samaran butter Who? soaks in the canal. What is Samaran Do butter? Whatever it is, the boy on the billboard seems very happy about it. Attempt to reconstruct what happened. Judging by the size of the impact and the parallel lines of burnt rubber, Yay! the is probably a motor vehicle. These look like the same tire tracks I saw earlier, in front of the whirling rags. Look at the crater. Side slip marks indicated that the vehicle was traveling up the crater at- Free for the shack. The black marks on the roof indicate that the vehicle vaulted from the crater to the roof of the shack. Sloping metal roof panel. The panel like served as a takeoff ramp. <laughs> look at the broken posts. The vehicle soared through the air, hitting the billboard and upsetting the posts. I don't know how I ever then thought this was the thing on the wall, flight, by the way. <laughs> taking the billboard with it. Look at the sign. The sign broke the vehicle's fall into the canal. The Samarin butter billboard still looks freshly painted, suggesting it took the plunge recently. How recently? Within the past 72 hours. Look at the opposite bank. Okay. Still speeding. The vehicle made a loop and vanished into the fog along the coast. What was the model of this phantom vehicle? There are two good candidates. The Cupris 40 and the 
Linear G22. Why the Caprice? It's about the right size. And the tire marks look like they came from the skinny tires frequently found on that motor carriage. What about the Lenny? A very sturdy but light motor carriage. More likely than most to survive that jump. For well, now. You'd have to follow the tracks to be sure. The lieutenant looks on, waiting Ooh. for you to wrap up your analysis. Well, I nailed that. Oh, hey, what do you got to say about that? Any theories about what happened here? Someone was in a real hurry, reckless traffic hooliganism, uh, some top shelf shenanigans. I want to meet the driver, shake his hand. What kind of car do you think it was? I think it was a Capri or a Lini. Lini. That's quite likely, from what I can tell. Uh, some ideas about who it might have been. I have no idea. Uh, who could it have been? We are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? Probably. Somewhere in the depths of your alcohol-addled soul, you find a few threads that you can weave into a story. Boom! This could have only been paused dramatically. Jacob Err. The tip-top tourney champion? After the untimely death of dear friend and fellow racer Alfie de la Trez at Fjordhammer, I think. Jacob Err, I don't know. Might it be Irv, probably Irv, was desperately chasing death on the tra racetrack, but death eluded him. The lieutenant patiently listens to the words coming from your mouth. After quitting in frustration, he became a recluse, a ghost driver, searching for death on the streets of Revachol, speeding. Jumping canals at night? <laughs> if I was Jacob Irv, I wouldn't drive in Martinez. The roads are awful. In conclusion, it's a colorful theory, but I don't believe Jacob Irv did this. Should uh, we go? Maybe. <sighs> If we must. If, if it I'm comes not up. expecting him to get far with this. The lieutenant consoles himself. Probably not. I have a lot of tasks I'm taking on. I wonder if that comes into play. Like, yeah, this dickhead took so many tasks. By the way, how is this not a consideration for, like, the guy who smashed open the thing and then maybe possibly helped with the body? How is that not even, like, a thought? I don't understand how that is not an option. Top of the morning to you. How may uh... I be of service? When I ask about my missing gun, you know anything about the traffic menace on the loose? Traffic? I'm sorry, officer, but I don't drive. You didn't hear it when the traffic menace drove over your roof? Now that I think about it, I do remember hearing a thunderous noise the other night. What that night? That sure narrows down our list of suspects. Yeah, 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 yeah. A vortex sounds fascinating. Does this mean you don't have any idea who the driver was? I can understand how you would mistake Jacob Irv for a powerful electric vortex. A vortex, fascinating. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I didn't Wanted to really ask about my missing make of it, but gun, though. Sure thing. Sure, man. I got nothing more, I guess. <sighs> Top of the morning to you. Sure, let me have a look. I'm not purge. Anything else you're thinking of selling? I hope I don't need that. I lost the shot put ball. Another time, perhaps. I really hope I didn't need I kept it before because I was like, oh, maybe I needed to smash something. But I just threw it away. For $17 because I have no fucking money. Get reality lowdown. Keep asking Joyce questions about reality or return later. She'll be here whenever you need the info. <laughs> I love that I could just keep be wasting fucking time just asking her about reality and asking her about the world. Everything's All right. still cool here, officer. Fuck. Yeah, he's not gonna give any money. He's a jerk. Huh. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anything more to find that direction. Okay. I wonder if I can wait now. I wonder if I can rest and wait and skip time and shit. That sort of seems like the idea. Okay. Anything new to talk to you about? I might try knocking out the guy again. Still here. Stuck in this damn jam, my man. What? Uh. See if there's anything new this away. Okay. Uh. Anything to do with this, maybe? An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island. Nail it. Pointing even by the standards of the That's Philippine big. Kings. That's big. Well, 
he, his own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. How'd he manage to blow through the entire national treasure? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. He called it the Sol Auron. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon. There's no he way that's... Bed, like that's not true. Wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. What? You see, old Philippe wasn't... I already know about his cocaine. Nose candy, though. We're talking Royal Philippian Blow. Allegedly twice as potent as the stuff you find nowadays. And purple. <laughs> Philippian cocaine was purple. I can't say I know what that means. Oh, oh, I see. Why? Why? <laughs> Addicted to nose candy, a bloated druggie, a lot of process. His Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the higher realms. Where is he buried? Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, a group of marble pleurons still surround the king's vandalized tomb. Happened to the statue. The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershell in the poorest part of the city. <laughs> the statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time. A rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. I love it. I don't like this response to it. Bad idea. I really don't get art, but I get it. Yeah, funny People nihilistic, Martinez sure. tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics what? and thought leaders. With Philip Come on. III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. All right, I'm out of here. Well, that was neat. Uh, okay, is there anything down here? I'll check quick fast, doesn't seem like it. All right, old bag who's lost her shit. The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph. What an asshole. Hands. Like they to talk to you. No response, nothing, no. No response, nothing, no, no, nothing, no, no. Nothing to gain off that, okay. That's fucking tragic. <laughs> scammed, dude. Fucking scammed. Alright, charge up there. Hopefully I can uh, nail this shit. Ugh. Let's see if I can make this work. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Morale is not going down today. I'm gonna Your nail this. Descent has only I can't knock him out! You. you have really let yourself go. Why are you not with Hardy or with the Hardy boys, huh? I am not the first line of defense. Ah. I am the last. Ah. In addition, oh. these so-called Hardy boys are an effeminate clique of bodybuilders. Their company is spirit. But you're with the union. The Hardy manlets are on the pay of the company. I answer to the union alone. This fucking guy. Now leave me be. I must luxuriate in the company of my woman. I had it, dude. Bullshit. Physical instrument four. How can I get physical instrument to four? Oh, no, it is at four. Commit to that. Your race uh, descent has only worsened since a lot. Okay. Here's the thing. I succeeded at this before. I'm going to just do one now. I'm gonna Your just do one. Descent has only worsened since the last uh, physical instrument. Wait, do I have anything better to improve my chances at this physical instrument? I think I do, right? Yeah, physical instrument right there. So it's like 58 or something, right? Has only oh, that didn't get any better. No, no, it was 48, I think. This is a 10% jump. Really let yourself go. I did it! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Okay. Just like that, instinct. So I did this already. All you hear, he's open. Rip into him. Back up. 
360 flying kick. Boom. <laughs> Fucking boom. Nail this ass. How? Like a broken down puppet of muscles. Fucking disco ass. inferno. You That's beat my ass like six times. Hell yeah, we're no banging. The new measure head. What? Before he gets up. And yeah, that made me giggle too. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Give me that. Alright. Is he okay? The man is still knocked out. It'll take a few moments for him to recover. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So, I guess I hit the door. Alright. So, I think I can go in here now? Is that what that's insinuating? It is what it's insinuating. Oh, finally. Okay, so here's the deal. I wanted to take that out, right? I wanted to get that guy. He was a dick. He's a, he's a giant racist asshole. Okay, fuck that guy. But I also don't want to... Like, the, 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 the strike is sensible, right? The strike is sensible. And the bad guys are bad guys. Well, the, the people that, you know, the, the workers getting demanded to do shit and, you know, like, they're bad. The union guys are dicks too so far, but, like, I, I, it, it, it's hard. It's a whole thing. Anywho, I need to run around all this stuff. But before I do that, I want to get my glass filled up. I'll be back in a sec. I also have no idea what you're referencing for the discount thing, unless you mean that the Hargis are droppers, in which case, go to hell. What do you mean? <laughs> what is this? Hello, was. Hello, Adam. Hello, hello there as well. Raihan, I think I went with it before. I think Raihan. How you doing? <gasps> Hope you're good. <sighs> What's going on? <sighs> the chicken thing, interesting. Uh, 
And yes, indeed, day two is off to an interesting start. I already knocked out the giant racist's ass. So that's great. Big fan. Uh, still kind of concerned because that means that the dude who's like been paid to pretend to be a worker is, uh, is he going to get his way? And I don't love that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, payday three. Uh, it's payday two, but it looks prettier and it runs kind of not great. Not, not. Okay. It has performance issues in that it seems, at least on my machine, it was kind of hiccupy. Um, I don't know about all of that. I'm kind of concerned about it being so close to its actual launch, but like, <laughs> oh my, oh my God, just like, shut up. <laughs> Saying it's worth a buy. Uh, it's Payday 2. If you liked Payday 2 and you want to keep doing the same thing over and over again, Payday 3, do it. You know? I, I It gets stale to me at a point, but I, I think it'll be fine. I hope it doesn't have those types of drops in gameplay, like, you know, naturally. It might have been a connection thing, maybe. Servers being pounded, I don't know. But yeah. I don't know. It felt fine. It felt fine. Only one map. If you haven't signed up for the beta, go check the Payday 3 store page and hit it up. Uh, good note for that. For some reason, they seem to like only allow Gmails. So if you use a non-Gmail account, you might be unable to get your fucking code, which I was stuck there like, how the fuck is this going to work the whole time? And then I switched to a Gmail email address and it fucking immediately, <laughs> it immediately worked. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go up there yet. That's a phone. What's that? Uh, Sure. Cool. Dewey typewriter, model name is on the back. Uh, every worker equals member of the board is written on the top of the flyer. Interesting. Yeah, I need that. Get me in over there. There might be some more cash. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's big. That's big. Those are good. Absolutely. Even larger. <laughs> Sick. Uh, someone left coffee machine on. The dark liquid of the, to uh, the pot looks almost sentient. <laughs> How did I see that through the wall? <laughs> that was a weird one. A standard filing or office file cabinet. The drawers seem to be locked. Wait. I want to pry the fucking thing open. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork lying around like this. It is. Let's see what's inside. Open that drawer. The drawer opens smoothly. Ooh. Inside is a well-organized selection of I need to take folders. All, browse through the folders. Hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, Grad, and the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Kuron, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock. Anything it's interesting? It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Let's do it. Look how blurry Fuck. all the lines on these papers are. How unwieldy your own willpower is to yourself. You're like an absurdist Samaran monk. Focusing through not focusing. I let my eyes go completely out of focus. All shapes start melting into each other. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? No. <laughs> this is probably not relevant to our case anyway. What? The drawer slides. No, that feels like that would have been valuable. Oh, really? The do cabinet stand. Oh. The slides shut. Comment section going off. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sure they are. An imposing combination of a punch clock and the payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. What do I need to make? Okay. Uh, you're, uh, you're way off the mark there, going to look at proper sports teams. And <laughs> I mean established teams that get 40 to 50K or more people through every, the gate every week. God knows on TV, yada yada, worth two billion. I wouldn't even say you tell me you're worth more than a few million. It's a niche team. What? Providing content for a selection of people. What? <laughs> oh my god. Nonsense. Yeah, sure. Let's throw 10 the cents in here. Your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Sure. Dial a number. Why not? 
Your fingers run over the dial pad. Zero, mm. zero, five. Mm. That's the dialing code for Rivershaw. Four, nine, five, two. And a moment of hesitation before entering the final numbers. Nine, nine, three. Calling. Calling. Still calling. Then. Video Rivershaw, 24 hour video rental. We run eight and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lummy. How may I help you? What is this place? Video Rivershaw is a 24 hour video <laughs> rental. We rent 8 and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lummy. Do you know me? No. What is this place to me? Sir, I don't know. It's a video rental. Maybe I... you rent videos here. Why'd I call you? Maybe you call to extend your rental period? Do you need to extend your rental period? Maybe. I don't even know my name. If you need any further assistance, you can visit us on the corner of Voyager Main. I can't help you over the phone. Are we done? What a jerk! On the corner of Voyager and Main, a large neon sign hangs on the side of a building. Video River Show, 24 hours. Tiny heels tiptoeing down the road. Suddenly, you feel like you don't want to hear about video rentals anymore. You don't I want feel to sad about, about Video River Show, 24 it hours. It's shit. It's over. I feel sad about this place. That's enough for you today. Let's conclude this call. What was all that? It. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? What was the point of me doing that? Give me that. I need that all day. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. The white rectangle of the Revershold Citizens Militia is clearly visible on its back. That it is. This is your cloak. You can feel it. Lieutenant, I think that's mine. Yes. It does bear the RCM insignia, and we are the only detectives in Martinez. Do you think I should get it? Why would he say no? The service cloak issued to you by your station? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver a message of comfort through your fingertips. I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. <laughs> That's what the cloak is relaying. I think it's just a cloak. <laughs> So can I use that? Can I get in there from this area? Mm, doesn't seem like it wants to let me do anything with that. No, oh, nothing? Fuck, okay. Let's keep wandering around here. A lot of interesting stuff so far. I made some, uh, some moves here. Hmm, what pine yada yada yada. All around you, the great machines or great machines of quest crescents. I have no idea. They just like make up words to make me feel like an asshole. <laughs> I swear. That's their whole thing. Three packs of cigarette bots, uh numerous empty bottles of Commodore Red and Potent Pilsner. This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads Rene Arno. Listen. It's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. So this is where Renee works, huh? If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. Take that photo. It's a black and white photo I need that. of a young couple out in a street fair. How the hot's man, the check? Rene is dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. Mm -hmm. The girl is young and very pretty. She is smiling playfully at the camera. Can I be 18? Why did you take that picture of Rene? <laughs> I want to ask him about it. Uh, I'm a cop. It's instinctual to ask or to collect evidence. <laughs> yeah, that Fine. One. But let's move. I don't want to. The How chair is, is not oh. as austere did as I mean the to do rest that. of the booth. A thin gray pillow is attached to the seat. I saw Secure some sort of chat stars, about that, but I didn't know what it was about. Those. I didn't really dive into it. That's funny. Makes sense. Breathe deep. Search for a little something something to help you out. The drawers are empty, save for old timesheets and receipts. One small box, however, does hold some cheap painkillers. They are slightly out of date. Those are probably fine. Take the painkillers. Take the painkillers. They are yours now. Read the side effects. Oh boy. Okay. To start. Oh fuck. Elevated risk of dementia. Oh no, Most that's a bad call. Prophet's disease. Sudden death, hair death, erectile malfunction. What? Critical flatulence, watery blood. Maybe this was a bad idea. Get up. Wait, I can't. I couldn't do you the other thing. And exit the booth. 
Can I can I go back this in? Is the money. Oh no, I could oh I couldn't take the other thing. I wanted to see what else I could get. Oh man. Well, it seems like there's some stuff down there. I kinda wanna go check it out. Who knows if I'll have access to this again later, right? So it makes some sense. Let's try to get over there. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's going to be so many fucking things I can go to. What the fuck? You see faded industrial lettering on the platform. Falsum. Falsum. Sure, why is there even money there? Holy fuck, they let you fucking check out so much up here. Oh my god. Oh my god, they let you check out so much. Uh, give me that. Uh, the shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. The great machines are sleeping. Tower is silent. There is no work to organize, in, uh, to organize in the yard below. What's that? It's blue. What does that mean? Oh, half light. That suck. Or suck. That's sick. Uh, the musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. It smells like blood. Dude, my half light shit is gonna be so jacked up now. It's it's gonna be beyond ten. <laughs> Uh, industrial size thermos, uh, smells like burnt coffee. Give me that. Okay. Oh, shit. The banner sags under the weight of rain, snow, white waves, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the green is gone, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So I got a lot. Got a lot of great stuff. Big fan. Uh, why can I even read this? This features a large satirical portrait of the late King Frieza. From the sides of his head, a pair of white antlers spread to the corners of the cover. Flip through and see what catches your eye. To your disappointment, there aren't any full-color pictures to direct your attention. Just column after column of closely set text. <laughs> Fuck you. Interrupted occasionally by little doodles in black and white. After rifling the pages with your thumb several times, you return to the table of content. The magazine is divided ah. into several sections. International developments. I want to catch up this on it? Okay, I don't want to hear all this. Back, comrade, but like the str so please, if you value our radical Mazovian perspective, Cam, contemporary. I think politics, this is a communist magazine. And international affairs. What do you expect? <laughs> it was laying around the office of the Debardeurs Union. <laughs> but what could this mean? This thing. You flip back to the front of the magazine. The table of contents <laughs> unfolds before you. It takes a. I don't want to hear about the main this, but... feature, though is a long essay titled Tip Top Tourne, A Critical Mazovian Perspective. Read the profile of CS. This so-called artist spotlight is really just a brief Q&A. Tip Top. The actual article is surprisingly light on details, but after skimming a page or two, you gather that it has something to do with motor carriage rate. If you Weird. don't follow it, huh. you only ever hear about the ludicrous sponsorships and obscene death toll. Communists have to say about tiptoe. You think you're settling in for a relaxing recap of instead you find yourself skimming a ten thousand word feature about all the politically problematic aspects of tip where to even Oh start my god under capitalism. Oh my god, I'm not fucking going of through all of this. I can safely say the thought had never crossed my mind, detective. <laughs> Too bad. I thought you liked I thought I liked Tip Top. You can still like it. <laughs> Just because a couple of fools wrote an article doesn't mean it's true. But that has to decide my opinion and, and direct my thoughts. If I had to wager, I'd say they've never even seen the inside of a motor, much less a motor race. I take whatever they write with a large grain of salt. You flip back to the front. What are their concerns? Much of this section is taken up with articles declaring unqualified support for the dock workers' strike. You skim the headlines. Paint the harbor red and white. Martinez tames the wild pines. A city in revolt. First we take Martinez. Then we take La Delta. Finally, there's oh a God. brief article oh my by the God. writer, G. Martin, accusing the owner of the Cape Side Apartments of illegally attempting to evict certain communist tenants simply for not having paid their rent. Wouldn't it be better if everyone, uh, or for everyone, if labor and capital could reach some reasonable accommodation? Yeah. According to these editorials, Wouldn't it? there can be no accommodation with the forces of international capital or their mucilaginous allies in the coalition. Oh, dude, that's sick. If they could, 
if they do a good job of like allowing uh people to be creative in there and being able to share that shit that's pretty good that's cool as fuck yeah that could be like some track mania shit granted it'll always be you know it won't be as as high as that but that's cool you flip back to the front of the magazine put that away neat i thought that would give me one of the things to investigate but it didn't work what do you have to say though container container i'll turn you nice and red Container, container, put the logos on. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice. He's Ubi, from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Moindi. Container, container, used to be well pines. Hi. Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. Hey. How can I help you, mister? I see you are not a union man, mister. No. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Shadow passes over his kind face. Uh, what is it with the people and scabs? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. Yeah. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if Probably you know what not. I mean, mister. What is in the container over there? Point of the containers is better from the crane, and I'm looking for the leader of the U. Yeah, let me see. I'm looking for the leader. Oh, you want Mr. Everhart then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this Oh, that's sick. That's cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Guys like Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made marginalize what it is today. Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Uh, I just want to know where I can find them, though. Oh, Mr. Ever is where he always is. In his office, of course. Points to two joint containers on your right. Oh shit, interesting. Uh, where's everyone? The harbor's empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates. Yeah. Hey, we're on a strike. Yeah. So no one is working? <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is. And Jean Luc is guarding the gate. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble, and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. Hmm. What kind of trouble did Titus and his friends get into? Well, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. I'm a cop, though. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. Did they kill someone? No, I don't think they killed anyone. Let's I don't know why. I was hoping that would lead else. to more. Titus and his boys do good work. Mm. I don't want to get them in trouble over a little drinking. Hmm, do you, what do you mean, do you work here? Where, what are you doing with the containers? Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am, yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. Sure. Let's try it. What's going on here? Look at the mountains of containers rising behind him. Everything is so pretty and red. Fuck. You and Leo look like brothers as you glance around with similar childlike wonder. God damn it! Wow, red is so much prettier than drab all the green. Sure is, mister. Fuck. Sure is. Damn it. I had to break this bonding moment, but the red containers mean they are replacing the company livery with the union livery, which means this strike isn't going to stop anytime soon. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I, I kind of understood part of that. Although I thought it was just decorative. Or so. Whatever. Uh, what's in the container here over here? Oh, that one. That should, should be empty as far as I know. Lots right. of containers here have yes, yes. You having to work here? I already know that you do. Wait. Yeah, who's who's that? A real pretty lady with a skin like those do a sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Don't know what that means, They're but okay. nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down beside the radio. Okay. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Who's Miss yes, Beaufort? Oh, Lizzie. She is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. She's, she's the, she's the, the, the person who was mean to if me. If Mrs. and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Dr. Lemaitre said so. And she knows about such things. Law school? Could she be talking about the union fixer? A.K.A. the gardener. 
What do you know about the Union Fixer, the gardener? Looks like it. I'm not sure what a fixer is, but she is a real nice girl. Smart as a whip, too. Here you be, right? Oh, yes. Yeah? Born and raised right? in her Irish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about 10 then. Too old to lose my accent then. Oh, they're doing the prefab thing, too. Okay, so yeah, that's the same way that the structure of the uh, infinite um, forge mode is built. I wonder how. I wonder if they took a lot of liberties from them. Uh, I got moved to full-time loader today, too. But... Technically, I did yesterday, but uh, I said yes to it today. Oh. Huh. Is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> did you want that? People say are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. It's okay. That's fine. Thank I believe you. Clarifying that, sir. This bye fucking bye guy is so goddamn talkative. All right. Okay. So I will check that out. No, I'll check it out now. Let's do it. There's stuff back there I wanted to check too, but for now, let's just investigate further here. Coffee in the giant thermos is still lukewarm. A stair made of pallets leading up. Oh, well, what is it? What's different from your other tasks prior? Hello to you, you gigantic whale. Walrus, Holy man, shit. Yeah, this guy's fucking huge. Desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. You in charge of the dock workers? Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. He gestures towards a tiny chair opposite his desk. I'm Everard. Everard Giant Pierre, desk. <laughs> Giant. the Bardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, <laughs> looks like a torture device. <laughs> you go ahead, detective. Oh, what the hell? Whatever he has in store for you. Come on! Be good, he thinks. Yeah. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Oh, I totally missed that he called me my name. He probably just said my name. Oh my god. I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. Take a seat. I'd rather stand. You call me Mr. Dubois. Please, Mr. Dubois. Let us converse in a civilized manner as equals. Take a seat. Equals. I insist. It's nothing. Yes, that's probably right. It's nothing. Forget about it. Filter it out. I don't say it. It's kind of my thing. Very well, Mr. Dubois. Okay, I we get. respect good. a man with strong we convictions. Good. We get. He, he, as he nods, his multiple chins move like ocean waves. I, too, have convictions. One of which is that I will not engage with any man who won't face me at eye level. Should you find yourself more amenable in the future, I'd gladly resume our conversation. You're no titan of volition, buddy. He's got you in a fork. Sit down or leave. Fuck, fine. Take Excellent, a fucking Mr. seat. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. <laughs> he gives you a sly wink. Wink back at him. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. Are you kidding? It's that hurts my health! Backside. What? Uh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Yeah! Some people have no manners. It yeah! This should take care of that nonsense. He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically large. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Oh. Go ahead. Take it. He points at it again. Wow. That's 25 real. That's good money. You oh my it. god. <laughs> He's immediately trying to bribe me, but the other guy is bribed me. I could just take this bribe too. I'm taking bribes left, right, and center. It isn't. It isn't actually swaying me one way or another. <laughs> you know, Gart. Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. 
A real piece of work. That With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. <laughs> At least don't thank him for it. At least don't thank him for it. Keep it. I'm good. Leave the check. You can take that comically large check and shove it up your ass. Take it, but don't say a word. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Or no. Yeah, thanks. No, 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 no. No, no, it's cool. You've got integrity. Cool? I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure there are cooler things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check to a cafeteria manager. But, sure, if that's what's cool nowadays. Nah, it's cool. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. <laughs> oh my god, you're the worst. Gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun, lost gun, lost gun. Fucker. The world is swallowed by God a black damn it. hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational Fuck. pull. Lost, lost and, and gun. gun. Son of a bitch. I'm not worried. I got it. I'm not worried about that. It's fine. Are you all right, Harry? You say you got this, but you seem a little anxious to me. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. So my name is Harry Dubois, right? Interesting. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh my god. Composure, three, very low. You took the novelty check, negative one. You didn't say thanks for it though, plus one. <laughs> the chair is killing you. Negative two, side effect spooks, whatever that is. Negative one. I, uh, Kim, Kim. Officer, we will deal with this later. <laughs> we don't need Mr. Claire's help with this. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh my God. Officer, I, I have. So sure about that. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. No. You're about to cry. Aren't no. You? You're no. You're about to cry. Because you lost your gun. No! No, I can't cry in front of him! Don't make me cry! No, 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 no! I'm gonna try to stay calm! I'm not gonna survive it! I'm not gonna cry too. You want to cry? God, you're weak. No! Whatever you do, no! don't cry. Don't cry! Mr. you don't look so good. Don't cry! What is this? No, he's Mr. crying! He keeps repeating. What is he trying to pull here? Mr. Dubois, Mr. Dubois, Harry. <laughs> Keep sliding down the chair like a jello shot. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? God damn are it. Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Maybe you could use your hands somehow in a kind of throw in motion, like your throw in that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. <laughs> I'm as good as it gets, Mr. Dubois. Vaguely gesture with your hands above your head. <laughs> Chair's uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water, sit upright. No. <laughs> Vaguely Don't gesture. I can see your condition isn't terminal. You didn't know that. <laughs> what an odd demonstration of, huh, you got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're I think I needed the time, gesture. And I'm an extremely busy man, as I'm sure you are too. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Could have taken that seat for me, huh, Kim? Had to make me look like a bitch. I cried in front of this guy. He couldn't just fucking... I, I, the second we get out of here, I'm staring daggers at this fucking guy. Quick, here's your window. Get yourself together and ask him questions. It is about time to stop embarrassing yourself. That's good. Questions will help you regain some of your lost dignity. Great. I met Joyce, the uh, the company representative. She gave me way more money. Oh, that's very nice. I haven't gotten around to her yet. I'm very, very busy, you see. I hope you're getting along. Very well. She's One taught me a lot. I want to make very clear, Harry, is that this is not some kind of union versus corporation situation. Everyone is just pals here. Just pals, huh? Yes. 
We're all trying to do what's best for Martin 8. Don't feel like you shouldn't work with her just because you and I are such good friends. I'm not a jealous guy. Well, Joyce said the previous union leader vanished under suspicious circumstances. What happened to the previous negotiator, Mr. Gumo? Uh, and Everett, Joyce, uh, Everart, my mistake, Joyce seems to think the union is lowballing her. Why haven't you let her see or let her in to see you? What happened to Mr. Gumo? What do you mean, Harry? Nothing. I let him go. He made concessions for the company in previous negotiations. Why would you let an ally go? He's an old man, Harry. I wanted him to spend more time with his family. God knows how long he's got left. You called him a midget. <laughs> Harry, I have little people in my organization. I would never what? call someone a midget. What? What is this? Th they told me that that's what you said. I didn't say it. They said you said it. Honestly, I'm beginning to think you're a midget, Harry. What, what does no that mean? Thing, Harry. You're not a midget. No one is. We're pals. <laughs> It's hard to say if he really lost his temper, or if this is another one of his tricks. <laughs> Joyce this said the previous union leader vanished under suspicious circumstances. Vanished? Harry, the woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Mm. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election can wait. When she got back, the whole thing was over. Wait, there was no mention of a casserole from Joyce. Yeah, it's funny. She didn't say anything about that. Harry, Harry, Harry. Do not fixate on this little matter. Maybe it was a rabbit stew. Or a hairdryer. Or an iron. The point is, her heart wasn't in it. Mine was. Hmm, why wouldn't you let Joyce in? If she actually wants to see me, she will find a way. Any good negotiator would. And I just don't have anything to discuss with a bad negotiator. <laughs> Interesting. It's funny because, like, the, the phrase midget has such a negative undertone in, like, historic use case. But yeah, little people doesn't sound better. <laughs> he doesn't want to see her. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Everard, Joyce seems to think the union is lowballing low her. Yes, yes. Lowballing, of course. This isn't a casino, Harry. Real people, real livelihoods are at stake here. But everything's a casino for those rich types. His expression makes it clear. This is childish and irresponsible behavior. All right, talk about something different. Of course, Harry. Let me just assure you one more time. It's perfectly okay to share anything we discuss here with this Joyce. This is a completely transparent organization. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in what she is doing, but I myself have nothing to hide. Your business is your business, and I respect your privacy. Just remember, none of this is secret. Tell her about all of it. Like my this. brother's picture, my singing swordfish <coughs> clock. Tell her how overweight I am and how I'm helping you find your lost gun. <laughs> tell her about everything. Everart doesn't mind. I don't think I'm going to tell her about the gun, I'll be honest. This is weird. Not nice weird, but okay. Are you going to ask me how I got in? You called me Mr. Dubois. Why? Aren't you going to ask me about that? Am I going to ask? Hell, Harry. You spin kicked my strongest man in the face. I saw it from my window. Saw that, huh? Would you ask a man like that how he got into your container yard? I'm going to tell him I'm a terrifying death machine after I just cried in front of him. Don't worry, Harry. Between you and me, I'm not a huge fan of his race thing. But the union did not get where we are today by frowning on eccentricity. <laughs> He's not a huge fan of the guy who keeps going on about how everybody else is effeminate and saying that they're, not, they're all the wrong race. <laughs> anyway, I assure you, I'm a very well-informed man. Holy shit, I want to hear about the hanging. Before I even get the chance to request it. If you're, so, if you're so informed, tell me about that. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin A's. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand... You need to interview me. 
But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Mm, you're full of yes, shit. that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines, incredibly talented at opening doors. You've heard wrong. We aren't. <laughs> oh, you're being too modest, my friend. But don't worry. Fuck. This annoying thing I have is completely legal. I just need you to open a door. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's got another thing coming. Play his game, son, with your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up, and when he does, you're going to come out on top. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, what version? <laughs> hey, hello, version. How you doing? What? Why don't you open the door? How the fuck would I know that? What? How would I know that that's who you met? How would I possibly have known that? What kind of entry is that? Hey, Kyle, how you doing? Ah, uh, fuck. I, uh, how long have I played? Hour and 45 minutes? Oh my god. Yeah, sure, let me finish this dialogue. Yeah, and wait for him to do his update, which probably won't take too long. I'll finish this dialogue here, and that'll probably be enough, and then I'll bow out. Hour and 45! Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, this fat fuck. Oh, your ass is grass. Uh, did you guys check if Brett and Lachlan got in? I imagine they would have. Maybe see if they want to play too. Ooh, if they're around, I don't know. Uh, bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Damn it, fine. Look into it, accept the task. Whose door is it? Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing Why don't you open it? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. This fucking guy. You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi. What about that weasel? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. Rips his glasses and rubs his nose. I'm not crying in front of him again. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. Hmm. But you don't know anything about the hanging. Harry, my dear friend. Nah, he's got nothing I to say. Fine. Call a local big <sighs> I'll look into it. We need to talk about that murder. Goes. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. You can get the key from Manana. He's down by the gates. Manana's like a free agent in the union. Special operations. Hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. One last thing, Harry. It smells obviously satisfied with how well he planned it all out. One last thing. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Call me Mr. Dubois. What's that about? Of course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everett. I call you Harry. So that's my name, huh? My god, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you Fuck. are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac. I cop, really wish I didn't tell him What this. are the odds of that? I think the odds of that are very low. That's fucked up. Uh, memory's fine. I'm just testing you. So good to hear that, Harry. <laughs> Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out with my big fat folder. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. This fucking guy. Don't just jump to the folder. That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing first. Uh, where'd you get the folder? Ah, this? My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. I'm sure you understand. What kind Please of cop does it say Harry? I am? Harry, you're not simply a cop. You're a star. A bright shining star in the drab law enforcement sky. Outshining all other stars. You're a superstar. <laughs> That's true. That's true, I am. Of course I do, Harry. 
and I'm going to help you shine. I'm going to put you on all the big stages, <laughs> your name in giant neon letters. Harry Dubois. The giant neon sign reading Harry Dubois, hanging from the Kvalsun crane, it's can be now. seen all the way to Jamrock. It's beautiful. <laughs> Somewhere in Mirova, a beautiful Shit, woman did my odds turn down? on the horizon right. and says to herself, oh my god. Do you I know anything about my family? Wife or kids? Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? I think I do. I'd, have a, I'd be a wonderful father. Well, yes. I'm sure you're going to make one little boy or a girl very happy and proud one day, Harry. <laughs> That's my full name, though. It's Harry. Harry Dubois. Hmm. Okay. I like it. I can work with that. And I can work with you, Harry. Now, what else can I do for you? Come on. 72%. 72%. 72%. 72%. 72%. Folder, Everard covers it with his hand and pets it. He's hiding it from you because ah! it's not a real RCM folder. It's just another one of those brown folders you saw in the file cabinet. Wish I got to investigate that further. Fuck. That's not an RCM folder, though. Okay, Harry. You got me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. You should do something about them. <coughs> I got the name from the Census Bureau and everything else from your actions here in Martinez. Yes, yes, Probably. Mr. Kitsuragi. <laughs> from fair. The I've made quite the stir. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man. So is there anything else I can do for you, Harry? That means he doesn't really know anything about you. A pity. The mystery of you will have to remain a mystery for the time being. Oh, well, they got my yes. name at the Censor Bureau, I suppose. Try to keep up, okay? All Let's right. move on. That's all I got to ask about. Let's talk about the gun, fuck it. Yes, your gun. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. Hmm. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Interesting. The guy uh, may have bought from Roy's pawn shop. Have your men factored that in? Uh, I don't know if I want to tell him that. Uh, I don't think I care about my gun. I don't think I care about my gun. I don't care about my gun. I love it, Harry. Wish I could be like that, but I can't. I have a responsibility to this community. I can't have a loaded gun out in the street. <laughs> He's gonna cry again. The officer is exaggerating. Oh no! Of course we care about the missing firearm, <laughs> and we are actively <laughs> looking for it as well. He's just fucking wiping new tears on his fucking the face. The lieutenant is concerned about the lost gun and feels that the fact you haven't prioritized looking for it is unfortunate, if inevitable, and doesn't put the RCM in a good light. <laughs> no, he didn't say anything like that. Excellent, Mr. Kitsuragi. <laughs> That's excellent right. news. I'll leave. Looks we like might we talk again later. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. There's a new drawer. Pours out a plastic card. I was wondering how I'd get past that. Here. You're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Hmm. Take care, Harry. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Where's it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light. Flash photography. Oh, is this thing done? No okay. In particular. I'll be good in a sec. It's just what superstar law officers do. They yeah. squint at lights. That's and true. Soul shit. <laughs> I've been establishing my superstar and I'm hard lately. Definitely. Yeah, you have. You're a big thick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bayi. Badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera. Lights. Action, baby. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you, and you along with it. In an iconic monochrome <laughs> solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Hell yeah. That's big. That's massive. Okay. Uh, let me, um, let me prioritize that. Uh, wait, can I not internalize another one? Uh, how do I unlock a new slot? How do I do that? Uh, I'd have to drop one. Sure, slot is empty. Oh, shit. That's a very specific type of thing. Forget the Wait, what? I can't forget skills? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. 
Oh man, I want to internalize so many of these. Shit. Fuck, I want to look into it. Damn it, how do I get more of those? Okay, well that was interesting. It seems like we maybe have learned a good amount of some stuff here. I'm gonna get myself back on the path I need to be on a little bit. That was pretty good. Uh, but that is gonna be the end of the session as well as I prepare to do something a little different. We go play some CS2. Um, oh, there's so much stuff. Wait, can I go down here too? Ooh, I can't, oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Okay, I need to hit this up. Okay, so this is for next time. Gotta do it. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna be, but I gotta get all up in that. Big fan. Knocked out the big racist. <laughs> big racist got uh, racist got smoked. Talked to the uh, the, the the crazy like uh, crazy dude who wouldn't shut up. And then uh, the big fat tub of lard uh, was a big jerk. Okay, that was a good session. I don't know how the fuck it was two hours, but cool. Uh, it is uh, noon, a little past noon on the six or the second day, as visible down there. And uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, making progress. Pretty good. Pretty big fan. Until the next one. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I kicked his ass with a wild fucking spin kick. Oh, yeah, and then I also cried in front of a guy. But, you know, still cool. I beat up the racist and then cried. But, you know, <laughs> good session.